This is an AT Tiny 85. It's a tiny little processor that costs less than a pound, has 8 kilobytes of flash memory, and 512 bytes of RAM. I started playing with these a few months ago, and one of the things I wanted to make was a MIDI synthesizer. I've used MIDI before, but never at this low level. I mean, it doesn't even have a UART port, so you have to bit bang it. Uh, this is mostly just to learn about MIDI, but at the end of it, I had a tiny, monophonic, MIDI-controlled square wave synthesizer. Now, this can be used as a really cheap MIDI-controlled oscillator for building other synths, and I'll talk more about that in a later video. But every once in a while, I want to have a pure, unadulterated square wave for a really retro chiptune sound. And I was thinking about how to package this, and I realised it was so small that it can actually fit inside a MIDI jack. I'm not the first person to do this, but it's actually possible to draw power from the MIDI data signal. So, when you close it up, you're left with a cable that converts MIDI to audio. Let me play it for you. There is no aliasing in this sound. It doesn't actually have an analog output. It's just producing a square wave by toggling the logic level of one of the digital pins. Uh, also, there's no buffer, uh, which means there's absolutely no lag whatsoever. This is unlike any other digital synth I've ever used. Uh, you press a note and you hear it immediately. It's a wonderful feeling. So there's plenty more information about this on my website, mitzella.com. Take a look if you're interested. And so long for now.